Language models have been the talk of the AI town for many years now. In 2003, the first feedforward neural network language model was proposed by Bengio, followed by the introduction of transformers by Google in 2016, changing the playing field completely. While Google's BERT was one of the first large language models with 100 million parameters, today, we have large language models built by big tech companies ranging in trillions of parameters. Analytics India magazine has listed all the big tech companies and their biggest language models. Released in May 2020 by OpenAI, GPT-3 has remained among the most significant AI language models ever created. The generative pre-trained transformer can generate unique human-like text on demand. The third version, GPT-3, was built on 570 gigabytes of data crawled from the internet, including Wikipedia. GPT-3 is popularly known for its ability to generate text given limited context. The text is in the forms of essays, tweets, memos, translations, and even computer code. It is built on 175 billion parameters, making it one of the largest language models to date. In 2021, OpenAI released all e a 12 billion parameter version of GPT-3 trained to generate images from text descriptions using a dataset of text image pairs. OpenAI said that dall e is a transformer language model that receives both the text and the image as a single stream of data containing up to 1,280 tokens. It added that dall e could render an image from scratch and alter its aspects using text prompts. In 2021, Google researchers introduced Switch Transformer, a language model based on T5 base and T5 large models. With 1.6 trillion parameters, researchers found this to perform better than the smaller T5 XXL model with 400 billion parameters. It is also claimed to be the largest of its kind. Switch Transformer uses a mixture of experts, routing algorithm and design intuitive improved models with reduced communication and computational costs. Now GPT-4 will not be any bigger than GPT-3, but will use more compute resources. 100 trillion parameter model won't be GPT-4 and is far off. They are getting much more performance out of smaller models. Maybe they will never need such a big model. AGI will likely require new algorithmic breakthroughs that haven't happened yet, instead of just building bigger models. GPT-4 would focus more on coding, that is, codex. Codex is a descendant of GPT-3. It is worth noting that OpenAI recently released Codex through API in private beta. Codex is also the basis for GitHub Copilot. It understands more than a dozen languages and can also interpret simple commands in natural language and execute them on users' behalf, allowing building a natural language interface to existing applications. Parameters are the key to machine learning algorithms. They're the part of the model that's learned from historical training data. Generally speaking, in the language domain, the correlation between the number of parameters and sophistication has held up remarkably well. For example, OpenAI's GPT-3 one of the largest language models ever trained, at 175 billion parameters can make primitive analogies, generate recipes, and even complete basic code. As the researchers note in a paper detailing their work, large-scale training is an effective path toward powerful models. Simple architectures, backed by large datasets and parameter counts, surpass far more complicated algorithms. But effective, large-scale training is extremely computationally intensive. That's why the researchers pursued what they call the switch transformer, a sparsely activated technique that uses only a subset of a model's weights, or the parameters that transform input data within the model. The switch transformer builds on a mix of experts, an AI model paradigm first proposed in the early 90s. The rough concept is to keep multiple experts, or models specialized in different tasks, inside a larger model and have a gating network, choose which experts to consult for any given data. The novelty of the switch transformer is that it efficiently leverages hardware designed for dense matrix multiplications, mathematical operations widely used in language models, such as GPUs and Google's tensor processing units. In the researchers' distributed training setup, their models split unique weights on different devices, so the weights increased with the number of devices but maintained a manageable memory and computational footprint on each device. 
In an experiment, the researchers pre-trained several different switch transformer models using 32 TPU cores on the colossal clean crawled corpus. A 750 gigabyte size dataset of text scraped from Reddit, Wikipedia, and other web sources. They tasked the models with predicting missing words in passages where 15% of the words had been masked out, as well as other challenges, like retrieving text to answer a list of increasingly difficult questions. But OpenAI has made a new version of its GPT-3 AI language model available, that promises to be better at following user intentions, while also producing results that are more truthful and less toxic. The OpenAI API is powered by GPT-3 language models that can be used to perform natural language tasks, using carefully engineered text prompts. However, the models can also produce outputs that are untruthful, toxic, or reflect harmful sentiments. So it's hard to say exactly what GPT-4 be able to achieve just yet. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below.